says Sarah. I can't believe that in a few hours we will be getting married. Eek! <laughs> so exciting, I can't wait. I love you so much. I wanted to get you a gift that not only will continue to remind you of this day, but also how we met and the path we had taken to get to this amazing day. I've waited my whole life to find you and will now spend the rest of my life being the man. I'm not allowed to cry. <laughs> the man loving you at your side until the end of my days. Let's try and enjoy this day with all of our families and family and friends. Soak in every moment and cherish the memories being created. When it comes time to walk down that aisle, remember to look up. I'll be waiting. Take your place next to me and I will forever be by your side. Always and forever, Aaron. To my future husband-to-be, every day I spend with you is a day when I am the luckiest woman on earth. I'm so proud to be taking your hand today and continue, continuing our journey in this adventure and love of our lives. See, see you really soon. Love, Sam. It's pretty cool, eh? My goodness. Oh, you are just a vision of beauty. Oh, my Sarah Barrow. Oh, my goodness. Don't make me cry! <laughs> funny stuff, only funny stuff. very fitting for today. This way, when clouds of trouble hide the sun in your lives, and you lose sight of it just for a moment, you can remember that the sun is always there. And if you will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and happiness. So the bride and groom have chosen to share some personal words, and Erin, you're going to go first. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Lafroy Smith. On the day we met, the first time I introduced myself, there was an unexplainable connection. About one week later, when I embarrassingly had to introduce myself to you again <laughs> for the second time, and you embraced it with a very awkward, you embraced a very awkward situation with laughter. I knew there was something special about you. I cherish this memory and other memories, such as you leaping across the table to sneak our first kiss. <laughs> the memories of your amazing smile. Your kind heart. 
your laughter and wit. The way you make me feel, the way you make me want to be a better man. It is all this and more that makes me realize that you are the right woman for me. The woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. The woman I cannot see my life without. I promise for all, those for all the days we are together to be faithful and committed to you, to this marriage, and to our family, present and future. To be that rock by your side through all the good days and bad. To strive to be the best husband, lover, and partner I can be. To love, care, and provide for Lucas. Not only as his stepdad, but as, that, as any proud loving father would. To be that guy who will open those pesky water bottles for you. <laughs> and to love you till my last breath. Sarah, I am proud and feel honored that you have chosen me to be your husband. You are and will always be that treasure I've been looking for my entire life. With you by my side, that treasure, that absent goody, you might even say, <laughs> has been found. I love you. Is it good? It might fall over. Mine's a little bit longer. Okay. Aaron, never in a million years did I imagine that our chance meeting in Penticton two years ago would turn out to be this adventure and love that would last a lifetime. Who knew that when I met, met your alter ego, Dawson, <laughs> for the first time, that I had actually met the man of my dreams. But here we are. Your infectious enthusiasm and sense of adventure ignites a light in me that I had long forgotten. Your patience and determination in learning to navigate the challenging waters of parenting has inspired me and pushes me to be a better parent. The way that you love my son with so much understanding and empathy is what has truly brought us together as a family. And I'm so happy that we have you. Your ability to love not only me and Lucas, but my family, my friends, my two dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we've come into your life like a whirlwind and at times we've turned everything upside down and inside out. Through thick and thin, that is what makes you the most amazing man. I have loved you more and more with each day that I've known you, and I promise to continue to love you more all of our days. I promise to always stand by you and encourage you to continue to be bold and brave in all of life's adventures. I promise to laugh at your jokes, most of them. <laughs> I promise to help you make dinner choices yes. so that your brain doesn't explode. Yes. <laughs> I promise to love you the way you deserve to be loved with adoration, passion, devotion, and respect, and to treat you like the strong and capable man that you are, even when you do your Marilyn Monroe impression. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> I promise to support your interests and nourish your passions. I will be your golf partner until we're old and rickety, unless I get a hole in one before you, because I know you'll never <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> I'll be your Sunday, Sunday night football buddy, until the Seahawks leave Seattle, your hockey wife and biggest fan in the stands, your lover and your best friend. I promise to never lose sight of this foundation that we have built together and to continue to nurture our love as, our love as we grow our family. I will take care of you when you are sick and hold you up when you stumble. And I will always make sure you wear your personal protective equipment. <laughs> you are my you're my sunset in Tofino, my view of the Grand Canyon, my hole-in-one, my spider killer, 
<laughs> my Dawson Goodwin, my dictionary of made up words, <laughs> my favorite hello, and my hardest goodbye. And you're the greatest adventure of my life. Nothing will bring me more happiness than to call me my brother wife. I love you more. <laughs> I love you two. You two are absolutely remarkable. And Aaron, I want you to know I'm beyond five minutes. But I want you to know that these two, uh, my heart goes out to them. They're a remarkable couple. So at this point in the festivities, I would like you to please stand. Grab a lovely, a lovely drink. And here it is. Two Aaron and Sarah Goodwin, a remarkable life ahead of you, a remarkable life now. Cheers. You are in truly, truly, truly a couple that I admire. I knew it was one of those happy rings. She told me about one of Sarah's and Aaron's first dates. There was a moment she reached out lovingly, calmly, and hooked a finger in his back pocket. It was comfortable. It was exciting. He, in turn, kindly took her hand. The way her voice chimed, the music, the happiness there. I knew this was it. My sister, she found her happy.